Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Weather Plus by Billy. Today's date is January 6th. New, this is my third YouTube channel. I have a subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share on YouTube and Rumble. Uh, some of my sources are God in the Bible, Patriot subscribers, Suspicious Observers, Cliff High, Gene Decode, Trey Smith, Dr. William Mount, Israeli News Live, uh, Pastor Paul Bailey, and Mike from around the world, Dr. Michael Sala, uh, Super Soldier Talk, uh, James Rank with an interview of uh, Jimmy Payne, uh, Carrie Cassidy, plus. Okay, some of the topics we'll be covering. A weather impact from space and floods in California, East Coast get ready, Bio 3, Siberia, and Easter Island. So it, it'll be an interesting uh, segment. Okay. So in my last uh, uh, Weather Plus, we were talking about the atmospheric uh, river that was to hit uh, California. So we're going down like this. And in the January uh, 5, 4, 5, 6, I think they're due for another uh, storm today. It's called an atmospheric river. And it's bringing in floods. They've had... Uh, some areas five to six inches that was in Big Sur and Santa Cruz Mountains uh, five to six inches which is about 13 centimeters other areas 10 inches of rain which is about 25 centimeters they have tens of thousands of people without power so far they've documented three deaths but they have more coming in. Now, what's causing this atmospheric river? And is this soon to come to the East Coast within a week or so? The same type atmospheric river rising up from the ocean? We'll get to it because it looks like that could be happening. So what's causing these... Um, weather anomalies a lot of it has to do with some space events that are up going ongoing we're getting information now suspicious observers from january 5 we had a sun flare that did cause some radio blackouts and that was primarily over the pacific ocean so that's going on. Sometimes you'll see these uh, clickbait uh, things on uh, YouTube. Oh, it's going to take out all communications. No. Suspicious observers is science-based. Short little clip every morning. It's good information. Now, what we're going to be talking about now is I had a yeah, Patriot subscriber yeah, I did have a misspeak at one time. I said astronauts when I meant asteroids. I later co corrected that. And we have a Patriot subscribers talking about Gene Decode mentioned the Omicron virus as being created to take out hybrids. And we'll be covering a little bit of information about hybrids in this segment. Now we're going to, t oh, and Planet X, as Israeli News Live, Stephen Benoon, formerly with the CIA, now as the ministry, regularly gets updates from the uh, Pentagon. It's talking about more about Planet X. They believe it comes from another dimension and uh, travels through what they call ether, which is, is like another dimension where things are operating at a different frequency. And the Pentagon uh, states the possibility of Planet X suddenly popping out. Well, that could be possible, but that would be uh, out of keeping with thousands of years of records. So 
I don't see that one. Now let's talk about Siberia. I thought it odd uh, recently when you see a uh, since I've become a news analyst since 2020, I can see patterns. I give the credit to God. Okay, talking about virus, two works, virus and Siberia. Multiple uh, around the world, different sources. Okay, so here we have Russia. We have Siberia. And in about 1908, I believe it is, when they had the Tunguska event, something happened and it took down millions of trees and they all fell down in a circle and just took out thousands of uh, kilometers or miles of property uh, in the past they said uh, speculated that something exploded in the air like an em pulse something from space now it's come out with evidence and uh that ETs were having a battle and they were, um, you know, shooting bombs and other things. And in this area, since the permafrost is melting, so Siberia, the Arctic, Antarctica, the permafrost is melting because we have changes in space. We have what's euphemistically called Planet X, something affecting uh, the heliosphere, which includes our sun, the Earth, other planets around us. And now it's impacting the heliosphere, and the impact on the Earth is a weather and melting of the permafrost and also this correlates to what god gave me in 20 the fall of 2020 pay attention to here's the earth and we have tectonic plates operating and we have land on them and, and so god said pay attention to the edges of the tectonic plates because the magma is heating up inside the earth and it's going to come up along the edges so the earth is heating from the inside that also impacts our water supplies which will come back in the future we're living in a wonderful time there are going to be changes on the earth we are living in a, a harvest time uh, in terms of the gospel of Jesus Christ reaching a billion people on the earth. So it's a great time to be alive. Listen to God, not uh, to uh, individuals who on YouTube or TV might be trying to scare you. Mm -mm. Yeah, so okay, so this is coming in and the permafrost is melting. It is releasing. Um, ET are, we can call them ET. I classified the fallen angels as ETs. There are also non terrestrial, so they're species created by God. God also created the fallen angels, but they've been severed from God. There are other species God created, non terrestrials. And uh, by the way, uh, I, I have had a clarification. Recently from God, don't mix the seed. So we are to maintain uh, species uh, identity and not, not mix with other species to become hybrids. Okay, because God sets us in certain bloodlines for inheritance. So that's going on. We do have that going on. Now we have governments acknowledging there are hybrids on Earth. Okay, so we have these viruses being released from the permafrost uh, that supposedly is going to be the next uh, uh, pandemic that the New World Order is going to put forward. Are they working with them in biolabs? Sure. Gain of function, absolutely. Now, Dr. Makasala, yeah, he's, uh, and other sources are talking about the 
God is coming back Ra and Inky and Marduk and who created humans. Nothing could be further from the truth. That is a deep state satanic lie that's being put forth. Uh, Dr. Michael Sala self-describes himself as being an agnostic. I would believe in God if he could be proven. All right. So he's putting forth this. Uh, I think it was Elena Kopolnik with Awakening Cosmic Reality was also bringing out information about that. Now, here we go. But Dr. Michael Sala is saying, for the permafrost that's coming from Siberia, oh, guess what? The form up for the arm is already made. Can we believe that? Gee, yeah. So that's going on. Now, uh, Israeli News Live and Mike from around the world regularly on Pastor Paul Begley's Thursday night program. We believe Mike works for the NSA. Mike knows stuff. And... Israeli News Live, Stephen Benu. Siberia virus uh, could take down 50% of the human population. Well, if it's if it's an off-world virus, uh, it's possible we wouldn't have a uh, uh, immune system up for it. But somehow or another, I have faith in God. Either this is not going to come to be, or God is going to increase our uh, DNA and our immune system. Yeah. So uh, they're talking about, yeah, and the heliosphere is being affected. The magnetosphere on the earth, the magnetic shoe goes down. That does impact human health. Yeah. And the CIA is working with the ETs to, yeah, bring about the Siberia virus and biolabs. Yeah, that's going on. An example is flesh eating, a uh, bio level four. Yeah, well, we already have that. God can take care of that. Now, this uh, heliosphere, yeah, impacting inside the earth, affecting water supplies. So inside the earth, it could be releasing also uh, uh, different types of gases into our water supply. Now, the late prophet uh, John Paul Jackson predicted a water shortage on the earth. Can God take care of his people? Yes, he can. Now, Mike from around the world is saying the atmosphere can now hold two times the moisture. Yeah. And so we've seen that recently in the floods in california mike is predicting that the same thing is going to happen in a couple of weeks on the east coast uh, with the changes in the weather now so here we have Calif uh, west coast we've just seen those floods they're called atmospheric river here's the east coast now, Mike is predicting January 5, the first of 17 space impacts on Earth. So, impact on Earth, space. And we know he said it could take 17 to 48 hours. This is when he's predicting uh, this atmospheric change river that'll be in the Atlantic coming into the East Coast with the same results as we've just seen with these uh, rain bombs hitting the West Coast. So the East Coast can get ready for this January 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is information coming from Mike from around the world. Now we have this. They're also beginning to come out. This is Israeli News Live and Mike from around the world. The Russian government, as well as the U.S. government, is admitting 5% of their populations are hybrids, not humans. I submit it's a lot higher than 5%.
but they are publicly coming out now and stating this. All right. So we've had, uh, yeah, a succession of the deep state chemtrails, fluoride and water, poison and foods, everything to decrease population, change our DNA, make us become hybrids, and change uh, humans and take away our Christian faith so that we do not pray for protection for our children. This is coming from Israeli News Live, uh, Mike from around the world, Jean Decode, other sources. And Mike from around the world says in the last 15 years with all these chemical uh, in the air, in our food, in our water, the human bone structure has changed. So that's going on and it's affecting human health, animal health, plants, yeah, the soil. All right. Now, Carrie Cassidy was talking about, yeah, ETs being in Mexico and South America. We have hybrids everywhere all over the earth. And this correlates with information from Super Soldier Talk, James Rank, recent interview of Jimmy Payne, and he has information about Easter Island. Okay, Easter Island. Now, I brought this out here in South America about the monoliths. Uh, I had a couple of videos on that. This information from God. In South America, there are uh, especially uh, monoliths. So in 2021, I think we saw them all over the earth. God said, look into this. I did. And... Uh, let me see. That was Jessica Ariel Morocco. God uh, said, oh yeah, Mike from around the world. He said that they are calm devices. Jessica Ariel Morocco said they're designed to sync reality, the frequency all over the earth. And God said one half of them are real. Now, recently on Easter Island, there was a fire. We know they have those statues there. Most are buried. And God said, these are monoliths. Uh, and they had that fire and it caked them. And God said that their communication devices and that fire with the was designed to blunt that communication. Now, uh, Jimmy uh, Payne, a super soldier, recently uh, on the uh, James Rink Super Soldier Talk Show on Rumble. I think that was the Eldridge, uh, sh the show about the USS Eldridge. Okay, so Jimmy said that uh, the Easter Island statues are buried because the arms and legs had atrophied. In other words, they were all shriveled up, not used. And that there were two groups here. One had six fingers, and we know six finger ETs, that's described in the Bible. And some had three fingers, and they don't like one another. And, uh, in order to move on the earth, they had to wear anti-gravity belts. And uh, this is 1,500 miles from uh, Easter Island in Peru. Uh, we had these type beings were there. Now, uh, in the previous e show I did, uh, it talked about individuals from here to South America sharing DNA. What Jimmy is bringing out is about the ETs, the di two different types, and their DNA is here, and it's also in 
South America. So this is correlating with we have hybrids on Earth. All right. So now a short weather prayer. This is from General Patton, World War II. Father, grant us fair weather. Arm your soldiers with your power. Guide us from victory to victory and crush our enemies. And we thank you, Father, Son, Jesus, who many call Yeshua, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I say to my family and friends, remain steady out there. Continue to pray. God is in charge, and he is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.